you mentioned Margaret Chase Smith, which 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 surprised me. So she was the she was the first. Was she? She was the first. Well, there were other female senators, but they had all been their husbands' uh, widows. That's interesting. She yeah. was actually her husband's widow too, but he'd been in the House. Yeah. And then she decided to, to run, run for the Senate as a person by herself. So, he was dead for a while there at that point, and um, and she won. She was the first one who did that. By, which surprised people, I think, that she was running on, on her own. But, yeah, yeah. It wasn't what you were supposed to do, but she, they were so used to her at that point in yeah, Maine the, that yeah. everything worked out fine, but it was it was for the country, and then she ran for president. Oh, my God, in heaven. You know? <laughs> well, but it, what it surprised me was that it, while she was in the Senate, she couldn't use the bath. The, the men had a bathroom, but she had to use a public bathroom. Yeah, this went on forever. I mean, if, if some, Barbara Mikulski, who just yeah. retired not sure. too long ago, but used to talk about that, about the fight they had to get a bathroom because they're just— and that was not just true there. In fact, I found as I wandered around the country talking to people, mm -hmm. if you went to any state legislature— Mm -hmm. I mean, you wanted to talk to the women there. If you just brought up the bathroom <laughs> issue, instantly they would have all these stories. Because female lawmakers nowhere had bathrooms. It was just not considered necessary. Well, I think that's a sign of the times. So, yeah, that's yeah, everybody a, got a bathroom now. It's yeah, good. Yeah, no, it's... Uh... <laughs>